Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of The Parts Bin. In today's episode, we're not talking about anything you see on this table. All right, they say that big companies pay big bucks to put their products in videos. So I'm gonna shamelessly put in my products in this video because what I'm talking about, I don't really have much to show. Today I'm talking about tuning. I'm talking about e uh, Cummins Common Rail tuning. I could put a little EFI Live you know, auto cow here, but that's so little, it just seems silly. So we'll just talk about common rail tuning, the things you might want to know if you're thinking about tuning your truck. For the Dodge common rail, there's basically three platforms you can use to tune your truck. You have EFI Live, you have the MMM3, which is a Smarty product, and you tune that with UDC Pro, or you have HP tuners. Those are the kind of three options you have if you want to tune your truck. Now let's start with HP tuners. That is more designed for a home owner or an end user tuning. So if you want to tune your own truck, uh, you, don't want, you want to make your own calibrations, whatever you want to do, that's a great platform to use. It's not better than the others, but it's a fine platform to use. If you want to have a tuner like a shop like us do tuning for you, it's not a great option to send files and open them. Every time you have to open a file, you have to pay them. And so in the end, you end up spending a lot more money. So the guys who use HP tuners are people who maybe already have an HP tuner for maybe a different car and they want to use that. Uh, but if you don't have it already, I would not push you towards that platform if you wanted to tune your truck. The two most common ones out there right now are the uh, MM3 and the EFI Live. The MM3 is a little bit more versatile in that it covers more years. That covers from 03 all the way up to current. And so that's, that is the, I guess any, any truck model you want can use MM3. Some great things about MM3 is, uh, for one, if you have an 03 through 05, it's, it will work where EFI Live will not. And so that's really cool. Also, it comes with a, a monitor screen. The screen's nice because it gives you a lot of data. It'll tell you a lot of the things which your tuner has done. It'll let you know the timing he's running. It'll let you know the pulse width he's commanded. It lets you know a lot of information that you're not gonna get with EFI Live. With EFI Live, it's a lot less expensive but if you don't have gauges, you're gonna have to buy either like a monitor, like an edge monitor, CTS-2 is very common. And that's not gonna give you the information you're gonna get from MM3. You're not gonna be able to see your timing, what you're at as you're driving. You're not gonna be able to see a lot of things that you're able to see with the MM3. Now, even with a monitor, the EFI Live system is less expensive than the MM3 and is probably the most commonly and widely used platform out there. In my opinion, the MM3 and the EFI Live give you pretty much the same access to the uh, tables. You can make this, you can make your truck work as well with either one. Um, a great thing about EFI Live uh, is it's switch on the fly. You can get a little switch. You can switch tunes one through five uh, while you're driving down the road. Now MM3 can do that on 05 and later years. The reason they cannot do it on the 0304 is because the memory in the Dodge computer is not enough. Like, you cannot store that much information there, so you cannot do that but you can actually change the tunes on the MM3 05 and newer. Now HP Tuners actually has a cool little feature where you can kind of change the tunes while you drive. It's, it's a little, it's a bit of a cheater method, but it's pretty smart the way the guy figured out how to do it. You cannot actually change tunes on an HP Tuners. You cannot have a different file load or a different calibration load. What it is, is it like gives you access to, let's say your timing table, say in tune one, you only go up to 40% of the table. In tune two, it allows up to 60% of the table and so on. So really it's not changing tables, you're just getting more of each table and that's, it's, a, it's a pretty smart way to kind of pirate the software to give you that, but it's not a true tune change where with the MM3 and the EFI Live, you switch that knob and you get a whole new tune, new tables, new calibration, all new stuff. And so a true switch on the fly is only available with MM3 and EFI Live. If you do HP tuners, you have to download every single time. So that's something to think about as well. Many people know the capacity that comes in a stock common rail truck is amazing. I mean, 06 truck, we're talking 500 horsepower with stock components, enough fuel for 550 to 600 horsepower if you have like an added turbo kit or a bigger turbo, and then you can just go up from there. And we can handle anything you need that, you know, common rail tuning wise, uh, injectors, bigger turbos, uh, and so, it really is amazing what you can do with these trucks, how big of a turbo you can run on the street and still have it be streetable, and that's because of the variable timing. Also on our website, we have made power packages for common rail trucks. We've had power packages for the mechanical trucks for a long time, and these are the parts 
fuel-wise, you're going to need to make the power. You may have to upgrade your turbo, transmission, things like that. But as far as engine power on the fueling side, this will be enough. Um, some people are going to say we're too aggressive with our injector, meaning you can make the same power with a smaller injector. And while that's true, there's a reason we're using a larger injector for a given power range. So while you can make the horsepower with a smaller injector, the common rail technology has caught up, it, almost, close, to mechanical injection. In the mechanical world, the way to make big power is to inject the fuel in as small a window as possible. You want to get the fuel in, and you want to get it in very fast. You don't want it spread out over a whole bunch of degrees of crank rotation. Same thing holds true to common rail. The common rail and the mechanical injection are subject to the same laws of physics. The fuel gets in, it burns, it creates power, it creates heat, and there you go. So, in the common rail world, they are now discovering, and they've known it for a while, especially the, the top teams, that running a larger injector and a much smaller pulse width actually yields more power, more efficiency, and less heat. And so for these packages, we've designed these injectors to work really well efficiently in these, in these power ranges. So we're going to be able to, with the tune, we're going to be able to shrink down that pulse width. US, microseconds, they're all the same thing, a different way of saying the same thing. We're going to be able to shrink down the time it takes to inject the fuel with that larger injector, and it's just going to work better. So anyway, there are going to be guys who say it's too much injector. Personal difference, I disagree. I think it's the right injector for the power level that we're advertising this is for. So if you need tuning, injectors, all this stuff is now available on our website for the Common Rail guys. Um, it's been a lot of fun. We, we have a couple Common Rail trucks here. I personally got one and been playing with it, and they're really pretty neat. Still love my 12 valve. 12 valves have soul. Common Rails are very awesome, though. And so uh, anyway, if you have any questions, call us here at the shop. We're set up to do this. And uh, hopefully this was a little bit of information for you so you can figure out maybe which program, which platform you want to use when tuning your truck. And uh, we're happy to help any way we can. Thanks, we'll see you next time.